What's up guys, it's Greeny, and we have travel season just about upon us. So I know a lot of you guys are getting ready to travel. I saw an interesting list. It was from a publication called The Vacationer. They did a survey about the top things people find annoying on airplanes. This is not my list, this is from The Vacationer. They didn't make the list, they did a survey, so top 16 things. Of course, you know, being a greenie video, I'm gonna add my four things in at the end. They're not as severe as things listed in the video, but just a few things I add in, but I gotta warn you guys, number 11 on this list, your boy Greeny, he's guilty of this. I've done it before, to a certain extent. There's a caveat, I'll explain that to you. So let's get into this, number 16, and I'll give you 16 from their list and my top four. Number 16 is somebody that requests too much stuff from the flight attendant or somebody that's rude to the flight attendant. Goes without saying about being rude, but you know, requesting too much stuff, you know, there's always those people that think they're the center of the universe and everything should be catered towards them. I've seen it before. Number 15 is overly affectionate couples. You know, you may not see it, but if you're the guy in the row with those people and they're just overly affectionate, making out, whatever the hell they're doing, that would be a little annoying. Number 14, someone that uses the overhead bin like rows ahead or rows behind and I guess people find that annoying I don't know why sometimes the spot where you're sitting is filled up so I'm not sure what the big deal is about that number 13 is somebody that gets up too much they're stretching too much they're going back and forth to the bathroom too much that could be a little annoying in a long flight especially if you're one of these people that likes to sleep and somehow you end up in the aisle row and the person next to you is waking you up 100 times that could be pretty annoying number 12 somebody that flirts with the flight attendants or another passenger or you that could be pretty annoying i mean i guess i wouldn't mind it if you know but traveling and some guys hitting on you that would be real annoying especially if they're gross number 11 and i'm guilty of this sort of taking your shoes off on the flight now usually on a long flight i'm gonna wear socks and i want to take my shoes off and go to sleep so i'll have socks on now but if you're barefoot i would find that very gross but just taking your shoes off if you have socks on, I don't think it's a big deal, especially on a real long flight. Number 10, and this one is very annoying to me. I made a list a long time ago for a video I was thinking about making, and this was on it. People that listen to their music too loud, they got their headphones too loud, or maybe they're not using headphones at all, and they're just listening to something. That is super annoying. Number nine is someone that is boarding or deboarding out of turn. That's annoying. You know, you're getting ready to get off, and somebody just goes flying by you. Yeah, super annoying. Number eight is somebody that talks too much. Now, I'm going to expound on this a little bit, like loud talkers too. So, you know, if you're, you just want to chill on a plane, you got somebody next to you and they're talking all the time or people behind you and they're just yap, yap, yap. It's especially bad if they're loud talkers. That's super annoying. Number seven. And this one, I don't really agree with that much. It's reclining. I mean, these chairs are made to recline. If you're going on a long flight, you want to be comfortable and recline. A little caveat to this one is when the flight's taking off, when they're getting ready to land, and during food service, don't recline. So keep that in mind. When the food's coming out, move your seat up so you're not like in the person behind your face. Number six is hogging the armrest. An armrest hog, that'd be really annoying. And sometimes, you know, you might sit next to somebody that's really big and they can't help it. You're still going to be annoyed. Even though you may have compassion, it could be a little annoying. Number five is eating pungent or smelly food. So, you know, you're allowed to bring your own food on an airplane and sometimes it smells really bad. You know, could you imagine bringing a durian on the flight? That'd be pretty gross. Number four, inattentive or poor parenting. If you got a kid that's jumping up and down, screaming, yelling, I'll get to this on one of mine, but inattentive parents, things that they can control. Number three, and this one greatly annoys me, poor hygiene or too much perfume. I've been on uh, flights and around people that just, I don't know, like I, I've met people that lather in like cologne or perfume and that, that smell is really bad. And of course, somebody with like the BO, I've smelled that before too. Not on a flight, I was on a bus next to a guy and he was a backpacker and he told me, he goes, yeah, I only bought, brought like three pairs of clothes and oh my God, was he just lit up. It's like, dude, come on, 
take a shower. Number two on their list is a drunk and disruptive person. Goes without saying, we've seen hundreds of these videos online where somebody's had too much to drink and they're sloppy and loud and out of control or causing a fight. You know, sometimes you get in air and alcohol can affect you differently. I mean, you gotta remember you're at a high altitude. So control the alcohol, control the alcohol. That one makes a lot of sense. And number one, the number one most annoying thing which seems to always happen to me is having somebody behind you kicking your seat. Seat kicking is the most annoying thing. And usually it's a little kid and that goes back to the parents being inattentive. Not my last flight, but I had like three flights in a row with a little kid behind me kicking my seat. And I like, I turn around, I mean, I'll, I'll get up and look at it. I'll just look at the parent and give them a nasty look and sometimes it helps, sometimes they're just fuck friggin' clueless. All right, let's add mine on. My top four, which I guess this is number 17, is having somebody asking you to switch seats. Like, oh, my wife's sitting up there, or, you know, I'd like to sit next to this person. Can you trade with me? And, you know, sometimes it's okay. A lot of times, you know, they got some crappy seat and you don't want to switch. One time it did work out. A guy switched with me and there was the middle, but all five seats were empty. I usually like to sit, you know, window or aisle over there. And uh, I switched with him. That was awesome. He wanted to sit next to his girlfriend. But... Generally, I don't like people asking me to switch seats. Number 18, and this is sort of about the parents, but not really. I don't think there's anything they can do about it, but it annoys me. It seems like the older I get, the more this annoys me, and it's screaming kids, crying babies. Unless it's an older screaming kid, a crying baby, there's nothing you can do about it. Just, just one, of the, one of the risks of traveling, one of the inherent annoyances of traveling that's just going to happen. And since I'm a little tight with my money, I'm not paying for first class where there's probably not going to be any kids so i just deal with it but it's annoying but i deal with it i expect it all right my number 19 and i did mention you know people they say people that try to get off or get on too early well i just hate it when right as soon as the flight lands and and they're not even at the gate yet like everybody's got to stand up and they're all you know they may wait and let you out first but they're just in your personal space that's a annoying one to me and the last annoying one to me this is greeny list is People that put their stuff, put their bag up in the overhead. And, you know, maybe if you got to go in at one time because you forgot something, but somebody that's just in and out of their overhead thing, like take what you want with you, sit down, you know, have your stuff, but out and back and forth and back in your overhead, you know, and then somebody's sitting there, especially if it's not even in your row. That could be super annoying. Anyways, just a quick video. I don't want to drag this out at all. If you guys have any suggestions, anything you find annoying, leave it in the comments. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. I got more and more travel videos. I'm doing a bunch of stupid shorts, really stupid. I'm treating the shorts and the regular videos as like separate things. I'm kind of like anything I see that somebody says that I think is stupid online, I'm going to make fun of them and make a short video. Or along with my travel shorts and food shorts and Thailand shorts and all the other shorts they do because that's what YouTube wants us to do now. If you want to stay active with their algorithm, you got to make all these silly shorts and whatever. I see things that are funny sometimes and I want to show them to you guys. So that's it. Greeny out.